some changes to prevent tragedy. An emergency regulation just passed by the Nevada Athletic Commission. The goal? To make sure nothing like the death of 20-year-old Nathan Valencia happens again. He died after a fraternity-sponsored charity boxing match. It's a story the I team first broke. Hector Mejia joining us now live with the latest on the effort for oversight. Hector. Well, hey there. The last month's charity event involving Valencia was outside the commission's jurisdiction, and this is where they met this morning, and they told us the emergency regulation passed just hours ago as a first step in protecting students from similar events in the future. Nevada Athletic Commission Chairman Stephen Klubeck said the emergency regulation, now titled Nathan's Law, closes loopholes that allow fraternities and similar organizations to evade oversight and regulation. As of 1985, contests of unarmed combat conducted by or participated by a school or university were excluded from the commission's oversight. Now, the five-page document posted on the commission's website essentially creates a process for a person to seek and obtain that exemption. It applies to amateur contests or exhibitions. It will be up to the future legislators to determine whether they wish to make additional statutory changes. On November 19th, UNLV student Nathan Valencia took part in a charity boxing event held by the Kappa Sigma fraternity. He collapsed after his fight and died four days later. The I team first broke the story and learned there was no medical help at the boxing match, and Valencia's parents say there was no professional referee. UNLV, Kappa Sigma, and the Athletic Commission are still investigating. And commissioners also noted this regulation does not intend to regulate organizations such as the NCAA. The regulation now goes to the governor's desk for, for his signature. The I-team right now is working on that part of the story. We'll have the latest starting today at 4 p.m. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, live, local now. Hector, thank you. Uh, Metro Police saying today no charges will be filed, calling it a tragic death, but not criminal. However, the Richard Harris law firm that represents Nathan Valencia's family released a statement encouraging the state legislature to close that loophole exempting universities from the commission's oversight and also saying in part it will hold those responsible for lack of care and management and organization of the event.